what's going on, my name is Mickey, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2. So, a few things. One, there's apparently an item right here. Ah, it's up there. Never mind. Okay, that's, that's, that's we don't need to worry about that. The other thing that I wanted to say is, as I said in the last episode, I was planning on getting either Weavile or Mamoswine to be added to the final team of six. Reason being is Glaceon, as I found out, cannot be obtained until you beat the Elite Four. So, since the series will end after I beat the Elite Four, I, there's no point in getting Glaceon and having just five... Oh, wait, hang on real quick. Uh, there's a slight issue. There we go. Slight issue with Audacity, uh, having my microphone not be at uh, the maximum level. But now now we are good, so that's all, that's all good. But... Um, the question was, was I going to get Weavile or Mamoswine? Both of those I felt like were pseudo replacements, and my final decision that I came to was, in fact, Mamoswine. Um, when it comes down to why, there are actually four reasons as to why. Uh, for starters, Mamoswine was easier to get than Weavile, because I didn't have the item to evolve, um, Sneasel into Weavile yet. So, Mamoswine was just easier. Mamoswine is literally level up while it knows ancient power. <clears throat> I'm burping. I'm not burping. Sorry, coughing. Hang on. Sorry. <clears throat> We're good. But, um, that was one reason. The second reason, Mamoswine overall has just better stats. It has a base stat total of 530. Weavile is 510, which isn't a huge difference. Uh, and... When it comes, when it came down to it, both of them pretty much had an equal amount of attack. Mamoswine's at 130, Weavile's 120, but Mamoswine has uh, 110, 110 base HP stats. Uh, Weavile is 70. The only thing Weavile has over is speed and special defense. So that is it. So that's why I went with uh, that's two, the second reason why I went with Mamoswine. Uh, the third reason that I went with it is because the pi the pile the pile of swine that I caught was at was level 44 Mamoswine Mamoswine learned earthquake at level 46 so it was very close uh, to being able to do that so that would have been just really easy to get and the fourth reason was that although neither of them I felt like had a very good move set overall um it was easier for Mamoswine because I, I could actually get a lot of the moves that I wanted to get on that I wanted to get compared to Weavile, where there were a lot of moves that I wanted to get that I couldn't get. Um, what I the moves that I was going for was I believe it was Punishment, Swords Dance, Brick Break, and Poison Jab. Poison Jab I cannot get until after the Elite Four. Um, Punishment I already had on it. Swords Dance I, I had to get through the Pokemon World Tournament, which I haven't done yet. And Brick Break, same thing. Had to get it to the Pokemon World Tournament, which I didn't, I haven't done yet. So I couldn't get either of those. Therefore, I only had one move in that move set that I could get. And the only other two moves that interest me were X Scissor and Shadow Claw, both of which I had, but I didn't have a good secondary move. And and have a good uh, additional move to get. So that's those are the four reasons I went with Mamoswine over uh, Weavile. And when it came down to it, uh, Mamoswine uh, overall move set: Strength, Ice Fang, Iron Head, and Earthquake. Um, Earthquake is obvious. Ice Fang. The only reason I went with Ice Fang is because that's the most powerful um, Ice type move that Mamoswine can learn. That is a physical attack. The only other the, the the other things it could learn are like Ice Beam and Blizzard, which are good, but they're not um, they're not as good as Ice Fang in my opinion because they're special attack and Mamoswine is a physical attacker. So I went with that. Ice Fang does have a five percent chance to miss, but it can also has also has a ten percent chance to make the target flinch and a ten percent chance to leave the target uh, frozen. Iron Head, uh, 80 power, 100 accuracy, 30% chance to make the target flinch, and Strength, I only threw in there because I pretty much ran out of moves. So there's all that. That's the moves that we're going with, and that and that is all good. I also got Arcanine up to uh, up to um, level uh, 50, and just real quick, I got oh I didn't I uh, I put the uh, other move set I put the other thing back on. Arcanine. All right, so we're gonna move on move on right now. We have we have a bit of a thing. To get going, uh, we're gonna throw the dowsing machine and we're gonna move ahead. Uh, I gotta go back to the giant chasm 
and then we will move ahead. I have no clue where I'm going, and I got into a battle that I didn't want to get into. Ain't that great? What I should do, though, is actually, um, oh, I, I am leading with Mammoth Swan. I, I want to I know even Mammoth Swan to pretty much show you guys what, what you can do. So I got Ice Fang right here. I haven't used him a whole lot, but he is very good so far. Uh, okay, I forgot Ice was not uh, not very effective to uh, water, so that's not the that's not the greatest thing in the world. But Iron Head, oh, Iron Head's a stupid idea. Why did I use Iron Head? It did, oh my god, I'm bad at this. I'm a bad I'm bad at Pokemon. I can't use um, Earthquake because it's a flying type. But that that was really bad. I was uh, really bad, but that was mostly on my part that it was really bad. Uh, we're gonna do that. No, why on earth? Come on. Soul Rock, no. Soul Rock, I don't care. I, at this point, I'm just running. I'm running through. I'm going. I'm going ahead. And I'm gonna try to do this whole thing. Let's run away. And we gotta try to just keep on moving forward. Uh, let's go this way. We will go wherever this way. Oh, the freaking chance of this happening. Soul Rock, go the frick away. I don't care about you. You don't mean anything to me, Soul Rock. I'm just saying. Just saying. Let's run. Okay, we're going to get in there. We're going to use a repel. Everything's going to be okay. Get in. We're going to come on in. Go bag. And wherever the repels are. I don't know where the repels are. Uh, where, where are they? There's one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, do Thousand Machine. That's all good. Let's go on the bicycle as well. Just to... Alf. What on earth is that BS? I activated a repel and that is what happens right off the bat. Ain't that just something? Earthquake, I believe, is super would, would be super effective to you. Yes, it is. Uh, earth, is, uh, ground is super effective to steel. Extra with the faint. There we go. I, I was I was also slightly tempted to get Exegel on the team because I thought that would have been really really cool, but in the end, that is not the case. So we're gonna move down. This way. I don't know where this Ah! Would you look at that? Come here. Wait a sec. He said he wants to talk to them so his old allies won't get hurt. Ah, I I will say it is I will say it as many times as it takes until you understand. Getsis's real plan was to take over the Unova region. Liberating Pokemon was nothing more than an excuse. If anything, it would have made a Pokemon suffer. Uh-huh, yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty speech, Gramps, you fool. We're not gonna listen to what a traitor has to say. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> hey! Let me through. What are you saying? Looking to get hurt? I'm go I'm going to get a stolen Pokemon back. I'm not gonna listen to villains like you. Rude, X Team Plasma. Why why do you have Pokemon by your sides? To protect what's important to you, right? Even if your precious Pokemon get hurt, even if your ideals are damaged, the time to fight is now. You're just a kid. Quit, quit trying to act so cool. Whatever. No one's gonna get. The, no one's getting close to the plasma frigate. Wait the wait the uh, plasma frigate. What am I saying? Bacon, as usual, take the other one. Look, like he said, we're gonna crush you along with the traitors because Team Plasma exists to cause trouble. So he says, take the other one. Does this mean it's a double battle or a one v one? This will be a 1v1. Alright, interesting. Got two Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Weezing. Alright, issue with Weezing is that it's a poison type, so where therefore, if I'm not mistaken, it's weak to ground types. But it's Weezing and therefore it probably has levitate. So I'm just gonna have to go with an ice swing right here. So hopefully get a good hit in. Perfect, we froze it. That is. What? Excuse me, game? You're... Excuse me, game. I... Listen. I, I remember what happened to Ampharos in, that, in the freaking water gym. It was frozen for six turns in a, in a row, I believe, is what it was. And Weezy just breaks free the moment it becomes frozen. Of course that happens. I love that. That's great. Are your Pokemon okay? You should take t you should take these with you. Max revives. I'll take max revives. That's great. I don't know how many I have. Uh, thanks. I'm passing through. Oh, it looks like their backup has arrived. Yep, there's some backup. Let's see what we got here. They're gonna. At times like at times like these, those whose hearts weaken, those whose determination falters, can accomplish nothing. To save our old allies, to protect the Unova, we will fight. Both of you go. No, just just a moment. Who was it? 
about the Pokemon you're looking for. In all likelihood, it's in the possession of the, of the Shadow Triad, the Dark Warriors who peer, who peer silently. Got it. If I rescue it, that, that helps you guys abs absolve your guilt, doesn't it? Guess I'll help you out. The, the other guy there in the back just won't do anything. At that time, I believed we were on the side of justice. By serving my king, N, I was going to make a world, world without war, but I was con I was conceited, and I couldn't see the unhappiness we were causing. That's why I can't let it happen again. All right, interesting. Uh, there's no items anywhere, but there's an item over here. Of course. I Don't I have a repel up? Don't I have a repel up? What the frick game? <laughs> What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing to me? Like, what are you doing to me? We're running away because I don't care. They're all about 50, though. That's interesting. Razor Claw. Well, there's the Razor Claw. Um, that's how you would evolve, uh, evolve uh, Sneasel and the Weavile. What is my Repel just doing nothing? Repel. What are you doing? What's going on, Repel? Are you just deciding to not work for fun or something? I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Okay. Maybe it's, maybe it's the bicycle. You never know. Moonstone. Cool. I'll take it. Okay. That time it didn't happen. All right. Oh, this is weird. Oh, that's strange. Oh, okay. So, what? Oh, I, okay. I see. Okay. I got it. Perfect. Okay. We got it on. Let's go. Is this pretty much the end of Team Plasma? Is that what we're doing? Uh, I need to heal up, though. Ah, right. There we go. Where are the, um... Where's the super... Uh, super whatever it's called. Super potion. Uh, where is it? Where are the super potions? Uh, do I not have any super... Where are potions? I can't find... Uh... Uh... Oh, they're not here. I'm dumb. They're right here. Is there a super potion? Do I have any normal potions? I do not. Real quick, protein. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna do protein right there. A mammal swine. Uh, calcium for special attack. Give uh, both of those chandelier. Why not? Uh, the HP up will give that to mammal swine. Uh, full heal. A PP up. That could actually be really good. I'm gonna do that. For Earthquake, actually. I don't know how many times I can do it. Won't have any effect. Okay. Um, Iron Fang. What else is there, though? Shadow Ball? Maybe? Discharge. Flare Blitz. Outrage. Acrobatics. I feel like I use up my acrobatics quite a bit. Um... Let's do Samurai and Surf, because I'm using Surf a ton. And Shadow Ball. Why not? Let's do that. Uh, okay, we're good. Just gotta use this. Heal. And heal. Alright, uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. It took a while, but we got we got it all done. Let's go. He's terrified. He can't be human. But he but he, but he has a silly look silly looking quillfish hairstyle. What's wrong with his hairstyle? All of Unova will be frozen with Kiram's ice. I wonder if Zinzel will be okay. He really doesn't like the cold. Okay, so where on earth are we going? Up here? No, we're not going up here. We're going in... He okay, do not care about the repel. In here? This is where we're going? We go up? No? Oh, wait, can I... No? Where the frick am I going? It didn't. Tell, it doesn't tell you where you're supposed to go. Where? Where am I going? I'm so confused. Uh, did I? T I didn't talk to you, did I? Oh, oh, I did talk to you. Yeah, you're the guy said that. You? No. Do I go down? What? Oh, wait, up here or down there? One of those. I was assuming it's gonna be right. Dowsing machine. Is there anything? There's nothing. All right. So this way. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing over there. In. There we go. Got it. Okay, we found it. Just got this. And there we go. We got a double battle going in right here. What is it going to be? Mammoth Swine and Crobat, I believe. I believe those are my two uh, my two leaders. What we got? What we got? We got Team Plasma Grunt. Team Plasma Grunt. However, it is a full team. Of, it's a full team of six. Trubbish and Scraggy. That is a, a horrible openings opening to them. Uh, quite literally, all I have to do is Earthquake. 
Crobat's immune to the effect. So I might as well just use Fly and hit the guy like on the right. I don't know, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna go next, more than likely. Avoided the attack, there we go. Hits both of them, faints both of them. Boom, boom, done. See, that was incredibly easy. All right, there we go, both of them are down. We got that, we got that, we got that, we got that, there we go. Golbat, all right, not bad. And Scrafty, okay, Scrafty might be a slight issue. But no, nothing, nothing that I won't be able to deal with. Uh, a fighting dark type. Ice will be normally effective. So I'm gonna go that. Because Crobat is using Fly on the Golbat, so... Not enough to faint it, but... As long as we get some decent hits in, I guess I'm fine with it. There's that, we had an Air Cutter in. High Jump Kick, which is actually annoying because that might... Not quite, it gets close. Not quite though, not quite enough. We'll do that and we will acrobatics the Golbat. Just to get, I probably should have done that the other way around just to ensure that uh, they all fate. Mammoth Swine with the level, I'll take that, level 51. Crobat with a few levels and Ice Fang that should faint it, and it does, perfect. Mammoth Swine is weak right now, but we should be fine. Garbodor and Whirlipede, okay. That is something that a uh, Earthquake should be able to one-shot them with. But just in case, let's get a Acrobatics at least on the Whirlipede. Guarantee that faints. There we go. And Garbodor should be one-shot by... Um, it should be one-shot by Earthquake. Or very close to one-shot. There we go. Oh, by the way, the I almost forgot to say, the item that I have on Mammoth Swine, it is Soft Sand. Increases the power of Ground-type moves by 20%. So, uh, technically, the power of Earthquake is 120, which is freaking fantastic. Okay, here we go. We're up here. There's you. All right, another one of you. That last we meet again. Remember me, formerly of Team Plasma? I've been waiting for you. Gah, spying is such a rotten job. I contacted Root of the Seven Sages, but nobody showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everybody around me is always saying bad stuff about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed course to a better path. Yet they call they call him betrayer. People are always think sometimes. They selfishly can uh, count it on him, and now they selfishly make a big fuss about being betrayed. Oh, and Nero forgot to tell you, this floor is a maze of pipes. You've got to you got you've got to step on switches to connect or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing you can walk on the pipes. All right, well, we'll see how this goes. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of Team Plasma grunts in this place, so we'll see. We'll see how this. We'll see how this one goes. Well, this, depending on how long it takes me to actually finish up these, uh, these like puzzles, this might take me a little while to complete. This, this might take a little while to complete. Um. Okay, let's get that in. Enough to fancy. I thought that would have been super effective. I don't know why it wasn't. I thought that was a, uh, a poison type. You, same thing. Earthquake. I have 16 PP right now on Earthquake, so that should be all good. There we go. Everything's good. Barely any XP. And a Golbat. Okay, Golbat is actually a decent opponent. Assuming this misses or doesn't faint you. Nope, okay, we're good. <laughs> All that, yeah. This is this is what happens. I I really, when it comes to like end game crap, I really try to grind out with my Pokemon and stuff like that. Uh, the password is numeric code. You have no idea, huh? I'll give you the second hint. the The second number is seven. Okay, the second number is seven. I don't know why I'm saving. I I meant to I meant to heal Mamoswine, and I all of a sudden click save. Okay, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. I've been playing for nearly 24 hours in this game. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. There is a max potion. How many max potions? Oh, max. I have three max revives. Max I have three max potions. I have a crap ton of hyper potions. I might as well just use the hyper potions. They heal up 200. Like, we're good. Let's do that. Okay, we have that. Uh, you... Okay, so... And that does that. That's an item. It's a zinc. I don't know exactly what zinc is. I know it's a stat boosting item, but I don't know what stat it boosts as I voice crack all over the place because that's just how I am. Okay, I can fight a lot of trainers down there, but what else is there? There's this place over here. Okay, there's just a crap ton of trainers everywhere. That seems to be this. That seems to be the whole thing. Uh, I guess, you know, before I try to solve the puzzle, I'm just going to go through all the trainers because I think I can encounter all of them where I currently am. 
So I'm just going to go and fight all the trainers. I believe I saw like four, maybe five below. And I, there was two on this in this level. So we're just going to deal with this. Mamma Swine, uh, let's get you out. You are going to Earth... No. Earthquake doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Iron Head? Is that weak? It is not weak. But if it is enough to faint it with the crit, I will take it. That is fantastic. Crocodile, another... Well, no, the first... Yeah, yeah the other one was Croak Roke. Intimidate, that is somewhat annoying. Let's get an Ice Fang in in the hopes that we freeze it, or at least make it flinch. Oh, that's... Is Ice super effective to Dark? Or is Ice super effective to Ground? I'm confused. I thought... Ice is apparently super effective. I didn't think it would be. I don't know what... Blizzard. Unfortunately, no. I'm not a fan of Blizzard overall, and it's not good on Mamoswine anyway, so... That's all that. I didn't know... Interesting. I actually had no clue that that was the case. But we got that. And a Max Elixir. Alright, I guess I'll take that. Is there any more items this way? There was you... Oh, perfect! There's a nurse! Okay. There we go. They call they call you the Queen of Team Plasma? I highly doubt that's accurate. You're the Queen of Team Plasma. You're a grunt. Unless I misread what you said. Let's see. Radicate level 47, level 52 Mamoswine. Alright, there's all that. Let's get it going with an Ice Fang right off the bat. Why on earth not? Not enough for the faint, though. That is a side issue. Double Edge should be normally effective, but... Ow, that hurt a lot. Radigate, though, with the recoil damage. Enough to faint it. Uh, watch out. Okay, I'm not taking any freaking chances. I'm just going to go in with an Earthquake. I really... I would have thought Watch Hog would have been a little bit faster than Mammoth Swine. Interesting. I literally would have thought that. I don't... Interesting. All right. So there's no point in us uh, healing up if we got you. If Team Plasma take over the world, there should be a fever. A few, there should be fewer Pokemon injured. All right, perfect. So we got ourselves a, a nurse right in here. That's great. Or Dr. Julius. Uh, you got a Leaveny. That should be relatively easy to take out. Bug Grass. We'll just go in with a uh, Strength, I think. Uh, Iron Head. No, Strength. Let's go Strength. Hopefully should one-shot it. I, I think maybe... No, not even freaking close. And I'm fainted. No, way. That's normally effective. No, it's, it's super effective. I thought I thought Grass was weak to... um. I thought Grass would have been weak to Ice, but I guess not. Um, Chandelure. Why not? I'm, I'm really liking Chandelure. I'm liking the two new guys to the team. I still have yet to find a way to get Flamethrower, but I know where it is. We are very close to being able to get it. It's just going to take us a while. It's on Route 23, which is the route leading up to Victory Road. It's right. It's, uh, I believe currently it's locked off. No, it's, uh, to, it's to the west of the Giant Chasm. So we're close to there. There we go, though. We got, we got to heal up. So we're going to keep Mammoth Swan into the mix. Um, and we're just going to go down here. There is this item over here that I want to put. Oh, I can't go that way. I can't go that way? That's strange. I would have... I would have thought I would have been able to go under. Okay. Weird. Uh, is there at least a trainer here? There is. Okay. I'll bite you. We'll fight you. Oh, a trainer who battles looking for a password. Even if you win a battle, you won't necessarily get the answer. You might get something else, though. Okay. Oh, also, I should be reading what these people are saying, shouldn't I? Um, because they might be giving me hints. Nope. Okay. Those guys are not giving me any hints. What about down here? Uh, the, I can get over this way. But that's, that's it. I can't get anywhere else. Okay. So we got to go back up. Let's do that. Oh, and that connects this so we can get to this trainer. Okay, perfect. So do that. There we go. Uh, get, take care of you. Okay, perfect. Here we go. So we got a few trainers left. It seems like we have to solve the puzzle before we do anything else. Uh, but we got a grunt. Skullpeed. Skullpeed should be pretty easy to deal with, I would imagine so. Mammo Swan, let's go Mammo Swan. Get, let's go get it. Send in an earthquake. I don't know if this is going to be super effective. Also, he just wasted a turn because they were. Okay, cool. I guess it is not super effective, but it's still earthquake. It was also a critical hit, 
so yeah, that's absolutely gonna be enough to faint it. So there we go. That was quite easy. Uh, freaking uh, enter whatever you want. For your information, my favorite number is zero. Enter whatever you like. My favorite number is zero. Is that supposed to be telling us that a zero is in the password somehow? Oh. Oh. Okay. I get. I'm starting to understand how this works. So I gotta. What? How do I? I got. Oh wait. Can I go this way? Oh, I can go this way as well. Okay. I didn't think that was gonna be the case. I, get, I trained myself endlessly for two years. Okay. Cool. Is this okay? Where's this water? No, the water. My water bottle is empty. Never mind. All right, I should say my cup. It's not a bottle. All right, crocodile. Let's go. Let's see what we, let's see what we got. I found out apparently that uh, you are weak to ice type moves, which is interesting. So we're gonna get an ice fang in. Do that. Hopefully one shot it. Not enough for the one shot, unfortunately. Crunch is normally effective. We'll just get a strength in. Guarantee the feints without having to use any PP and do any, and do anything else with it. Do any crazy crap, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. Level, 50, th level 53 Mammo Swine. Enough for the for the win as well. Ain't that something? Ain't that just something? Okay, we're gonna go down. We have that. That's gonna connect to these. So there's you. Perfect. For that purpose, send over your Pokemon to me. Okay, I think they got to the to the left of where I currently am. This is the guy I talked to originally. The first guy I talked to on the ground level before I understand what I understand what I was doing. Uh, Grimer. Grimer is incredibly easy. If you have, you should have what two, maybe three Pokemon. He has only two, so we're gonna earthquake. Garen, that's gonna absolutely faint Grimer. Earthquake is pretty much gonna one shot everything. I feel like. Especially if it's super effective. Seviper. Okay, Seviper. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting what a Seviper is. So, yes, your poison type earthquake will 100% one shot you. I keep thinking superior, but that's not what it is. It's Seviper. Seviper and superior. That's what it is. Okay, Mammoth Swine. Getting some good levels. Since I lost, I will I accept my defeat, Graceful, and give you a hint. The first number is 7. So, the, it's 7-7 seven, seven when something. Yeah, okay, so there's that. But what's the... What do you mean password? That's my only question. What is... What password are they talking about? I've yet to encounter anything that, like, requires a password. So I'm confused. Um, where do I have to go? This way, and that opens up something here? Uh, like that... That does that, which opens up the entire area, I believe. There's that. There's also an item. A power band, which would be good if I was actually going to do crap, um, like, off off camera. I was going to, like, continue this game after I beat the League 4, which I might. I don't think I am, but I might. I never know. Okay, we got a Team Plasma going. Let's go. Drapian. Okay, level 47, you should be easily dealt with with a quick little earthquake. Get it in, one-shot it. Down for the count, there we go. Perfect, and over 2,000 XP, and that's a win. I hate you, just I hate you. Do you have a hint for me? Uh, I'll tell you this, a hint for the, a, a four-digit number in the last to seven. Seven, seven, zero, seven. All right, that's easy. That's easy to remember, but what do I do with that now? I have the code. What do I do with it? Oh, did I? No. What's the point of this area? Uh, okay, now I gotta figure out the way to get back, which I believe is gonna be. How do I get back? Hang on, I'm having trouble. That. And. That. Which. No. There we go. Okay, cool. We got back. So, seven-digit number. Where do I input that? Oh, into this. Okay. There's a device. It seems that... Okay. Wait. It seems that a key card is necessary to enter a password. Where the fuck do I get the key card? Is there... There's... 
Nothing in the dowsing machine. What? I have the code. Uh, I think we were not divided. Uh, as for this, on this, you'll need to enter a password to continue on. That password is... You don't think I'm just going to tell you the password, did you? You have to figure out from the others. Yeah, I know the password. But it says I need a key card. Where the frick is the way to get the key card? I thought it would be like somewhere like from here. But that's not it. There's nothing. So what do I what do I do? I'm incredibly confused. First things first, if you don't mind, could you please heal me up? Thank you very much. But where the frick is the key card? Is there I what? <laughs> I am, I, I am, uh, at a loss. I'm at a loss. I, I am so, yeah, the bear, I, it says I need a key card though. What the frick, what do I do? I am incredibly confused. Going ahead and making them. Okay. Certain don't interfere with the team, but. Where's the key card? I don't want. I don't. I can't. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I tried to do that. But. Uh. 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 uh... I, I, there is the vice. It seems that a, a card key, a card key is necessary to enter the password. So, is there something down here I didn't talk? Did I, was it, did I not, I swear. Was it just that I didn't battle this guy and this guy's actually gonna be the guy who gives me the key card? Is that what is that what I'm learning from this? I swear. I swear. Ice Fang. Not not even close for the one shot. High jump kick. Almost one shot me. Earthquake. That will absolutely faint you. There we go. You only have one Pokemon. So, the three of the four digits are the same number. That doesn't help me. You? I didn't do a you either. I have what you want. This person has it. This person has the card key or the key card. I don't know why they're calling it a card key. Whatever. Trubbish. There we go. Mammo swine. There's that. We got an earthquake in. That's easy. This episode's going on a little longer than I would like, but I will not stop in until I want. I feel like I should be good when it comes to actually finishing up like the Team Plasma crap. I feel this has to be the end of the Team Plasma crap, and I think this is gonna be. I want to have a climactic ending when it comes. I, I'm assuming this is where you get Kirim. This is the final stage until you get Kirim. So, we're gonna do that. This, I think this episode is gonna be actually a little longer than normal, just because it might, I wanna finish that up. You're gonna give me this then. There it is, that's the plasma card. The plasma card entered the password, do the rest by yourself. I like how they just give you the crap. It, it literally makes no sense. Why on earth are they just giving you this crap? But yeah, I'm over here so that I can heal up. That's what I'm doing. So, um, let's see. Do I have a pathway? Do I have an open pathway to get back from here? I do not. But I might. If I do stuff like this. Uh, and that. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we're back. We have the key card. We're gonna move ahead. Enter this in. Uh, we enter the password. Yes. The password is seven is oh, it's no wait. It's seven seven zero seven 
You succeeded in entering the past door. There we go. All barriers reactivated and you cannot proceed. Perfect. And we're here. The device is indestructible. You'll never be able to release Kirim. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Ah, uh, here we go, Zinzoin. Let's see. What we got? How many Pokemon do you got? You still only have three. You're still, you still suck just as bad as you originally did. Only issue now is that he has Cryogonal. And if I'm not mistaken, Cryogonal should have Levitate. Which means that Earthquake's gotta do nothing. Slash. Nameless one should be fine, assuming Iron Head's fine. Oh, is that super effective? Oh, I did not think Steel was super effective to Ice. <laughs> I had no clue that was the, that was the case. Okay. Oh, 54. Mammoth Swine's getting up there already. Weavile. Okay, so Ice Dark. Ice Dark, that should be Iron Head for... Well, yeah, they get a Night Slash out first. Which is some good uh, damage. That, however, is super effective. Not enough for the Faints. Ooh, not enough for the Faint. Okay. Interesting. Wait, yeah, we're taking a lot of damage from that. Strength should defeat it. There we go. Weavile down. And one more, it's gonna be another Cryogonal. Level 49, level 49. So Iron Head should one-shot it. I didn't go first. And Ice Beam faints me. Ain't that something great? Oh good, we're gonna just send in Chandelure. Chandelure should be able to one-shot it with Flame Burst. And all that will be perfectly okay. Light Screen, okay, maybe not so much anymore. It definitely went out and will no longer be able to one-shot it. Not even freaking close anymore. I probably should be doing Minimize. I probably should be ca should, casting. I probably should be using Minimize a bunch, but considering the fact that it's weak, I'm now confused, or it's it's uh, special defense is boosted. I'm now confused. It's probably gonna use Ice Beam. Ice Beam shouldn't do like any damage to me. It's weak, yeah. I snapped out of confusion. Ain't that something great? We're just gonna get uh, Minimize off a bunch. Because it's, uh, it will, it should have its special attack, uh, its special defense raise, uh, a bunch for now one more turn. So we're just gonna get one more Minimize in just to try to avoid any and all chances that Chandelure ends up fainting from this. Okay, I want Chandelure to get all this XP. Light screen wore off, we're gonna get a Flame Burst in. They, weirdly enough, can't use Confuse Ray over Light Screen. I would have actually expected them to use Light Screen again, weirdly enough. I'm confused, but I got the Flame Burst off. And not enough for the feet, but a Psychic right here should be fine. I avoid the Ice Beam. I am confused. I hit myself in confusion. That's great. Come on, Chandelure. I snapped that confusion. There we go. Ice and Psychic for the win. Perfectly done. Cryogonal. Gets the faint in. Or cry cryogonal faints right there. Zinzelin, it's the same for anyone. As long as you are uh, dreaming, the dream of frick, I can't read that fast in the game freak. Beaten again, no matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Okay, so. Oh! This is the decision, isn't it? To. If you intend to continue, step onto the warp ramp. Keep in mind that you're going to get beaten up if you do. Oh. Can I? Oh, okay, so I can't do anything right now. Okay, so we move over here. There's that. Okay. And... Huh. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can't accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought by up for the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasmas and force out, force out all of Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire war is destroyed as a result, then so be it. <laughs> that aside, the reason I've been traveling all over Unova and battling as many uh, Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bring in out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. Oh, I'm freaking coming at you. Yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> That's what he is. That's what this guy is, literally. Interesting. Colress is apparently a member of Team Plasma, which I guess makes sense based on the way he uh, his his colors are. Team Plasma Colress. Five Pokemon. Okay, this should be an interesting fight. Magneton or Mag yeah Magneton. Crobat. Oh frick. Oh no, I forgot Mammoth Swine fainted. All right, this is gonna be a five v five then. 
Acrobatics, get that in at least. It's not gonna do a lot. Oh god, that did nothing. Okay. Okay, that did literally nothing. Okay, we're sending in we're sending in the big guns. We're sending in the big guns right here. Go on out, uh, uh, Chandelure's weak. Go on out, Arcanine. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Arcanine. Let's see. This actually might be a tough battle. We're about to see. Intimidate's not very good because you're a special attacker. Flash Cannon, that might do a decent bit of damage. No, not very effective. Okay, yeah. Steal to, um, steal the fire. Okay. I use Flare Blitz that, um, unless you have Sturdy, this should one-shot you. Oh, no, you don't. I dealt damage you already. Perfect, yeah. There's that done. I take a lot of damage. Yes, that's accurate. Crobat with a level up. Fun. Um, and the Magnazone. Okay. If I go first, I should be able to one-shot it unless, again, Sturdy. We'll see. Frick, it has Sturdy. Uh, that's a lot of damage being taken. Thunder Wave, that's not very good. Okay. He's down one Pokemon. That is one thing to keep in mind. He's down one. Oh, full restore. Of course he uses a full restore. Well, luckily for me, I'm getting I'm getting in. Oh frick, I'm paralyzed and I can't move. Okay, crunch. Discharge. Okay, that Arcanine should be down. Okay, Arcanine's down. Uh Chandelure. Chandelure. Go Chandelure. And do that. We're gonna get a flame burst in. Almost enough for the one shot. A thunder wave comes in. Okay, come on. I gotta, ju I gotta just do this. I'm gonna bank in the fact that. Uh, wait, where's my? Wait, what? What does the citrus berry do? Uh, heals HP. Oh, wait, such. I'm dumb. Uh, paralyzed heal. We're gonna use that, in the hopes that he uses discharge, in the hopes that it doesn't faint me. Just not enough to faint. Perfect. We go first here. I'm using Flame Burst just in case he uses the Full Restore. He does not use the Full Restore. We get that win. Okay, Magnazone's down. Chandelure with a lot of XP right there. Perfect. 52. That's cool. What else? Matang. Uh, Matang might be an issue. It's a Steel Psychic type. Uh, I feel more confident using Shadow Ball. Steel Psychic. Shadow Ball. Come on. I have Spell Tag. It is super effective. No, it's not. Frick. No, it's not because he's a steel type. <sighs> Chandelure's down. Okay. Uh, Ampharos. Just Samurott. Samurott, you go. Because this should be a fair fight right here. You are you are weak. He is weak. So, a single surf. Okay, we got the surf in first. You see, the issue is that we're down to one. We're down to one. We're down to, sorry, uh, we're down to three Pokemon. He's already down to two, yes. Air Balloon, okay, he has an Air Balloon. That, not that that matters. Air Balloon makes it that he's immune to, um, he's immune to ground type moves. But the moment he gets hit by a physical move, I believe it pops. And the Air Balloon pops and he's no longer immune. Okay, so, that, yeah, oh, not, not even physical, just the moment he's hit. Giga Impact, okay, this should be interesting. How much damage that could deal? Uh, okay, we're good. Giga Impact, it didn't matter. All that mattered was that whether or not it fainted me. Because Giga Impact, the moment you use it, you cannot use a move in your next turn. So yes, it would have been a lot of damage, which it was a lot of damage, but we're good. One more. Behem. All right, Behem. Let's go Surf. You are what, a Psychic type? I believe just a Surf will be good. Maybe not to faint it, but at least to get it, get a very good hit off. Yep, exactly that. Psychic gets in. Samurott's down. I should be good, considering Ampharos is still up. But the thing is, Ampharos is a very slow Pokemon. If Ampharos gets one shot, I might not be in a very good spot. Discharge. Ampharos went first. Oh, thank you, Ampharos. Fantastic. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Ampharos, for that. Chorus been defeated. So this is what it means to, to draw four. I can't read that fast game, Freak. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as a Pokemon? Yes, I see. To me, that is an, an ideal answer. To think. That's what I, that, that's what you actually believe. To bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. 
excuse me but for repeating myself but if it if it will make pokemon stronger i don't care what it takes if interacting with pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point then the full strength must be brought about by using scientific approach even one with a coincidence even one without a coincidence i oh conscience even one without a conscience that's what it said but you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how the relationship between people, people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step onto the warp panel uh, on the other side of the room where Kiram is being held. Good luck in your battle. Okay. We are weak. We are very, very weak. We're going to need to get some heals in. Uh, okay, we ha do have a crap ton of revives. Do that. Samurai. Chandelure. An Arcanine. Okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna use the hyper potions just to get them all up. And I I also do need to use the paral the the paralysis seal, paralyzed seal to get Crobat uh, not paralyzed. Wherever that is, the paralyzed seal. First one, perfect. Crobat. Cure the paralysis. There we go. Okay, we're gonna we're still sending a mammoth swine because mammoth swine I feel is actually doing quite well. Here we go. What you beat Colress? I pretended to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, has no Pokemon. Fantastic. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Fantastic. Okay. Oh. Okay, I somewhat spoiled myself with this when I when I. When I went on, when I went to like uh, look at a fifth Pokemon, I was looking through where items were, and I found something now. So we're gonna see that blasted Colress. That the fool is tar far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova? How fortunate of you! Few get to be the sole audience member for for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kirim's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people and people, the terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's no, at my feet. Kirim is an empty bean, the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split in the Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute is absolute rule of Unova. That's right. Kirim will be the vessel into which my desires will will be poured. Uh, Lord Getsis, Kiram has been transferred. Transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era on which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Okay, it's not. It's not a battle with him quite yet. Wait, you're on the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the pearl one that was stolen on Asperdia. Very well. This must. This might be it. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Asperdia. So it seems likely that it was the Pokemon you're talking about, but now it only listens to my commands, such as the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me, that's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, oh, I feel sorry sorry for Pokemon. They've ruled they've uh, they're ruled by Pokeballs and the and the whims of their trainers. Lord gets this smoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago, simply for his own ambitions, but if he but if his plans had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This Leopard, well, you knew you knew it as a purloin. If it had been released, it may have returned. Might have returned to you. Well then, you there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Getsis' plans. Ah, interesting. Okay, we're fighting one in the Shadow Triad. Have we done that yet? We have. We have fought the Shadow, the Shadow Triad before. Fight it, Team Plasma Shadow. Pawniard. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh God, this ending, man. This, this, the ending to this story is something. This, is, yeah, as I, I keep saying, this is, this game is turning into one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, and if it keeps up, it, it got, it got a little stale toward the end because it was uh, not doing a good job of telling you what, where to go, and stuff like that. But um, overall, I feel like it actually was freaking fantastic, and we're getting close to the end finally. We're not quite there though yet. We still have Getsis to get through. And if I one shot all the Pokemon, <laughs> oh my god. Freaking, it's just Earthquake. Earthquake is just it. Earthquake is such a good move, man. <laughs> You're not done yet. Oh. We swore to be loyal to Galore Getsis since he saved us. Oh, I had to fight all three of them. Interesting. Okay. What we got? Let's see. Another three Pokemon. Pawniard. Did they all have the same Pokemon or something? 
Because at this point, all I literally have to do is just spam Earthquake and we're good. I should- I absolutely need to move Earthquake to my number one position, because that's obviously the number one move that I use. Super effective, Pontiard has fainted. Mammoth Swan with a level up. Pony not level up, sorry, XP. Pontiard, back out again. Another Earthquake in. There we go. That's enough for that faint. Pontiard fainted. 893 XP. Bennett, interesting, Bennett. Uh, we should be able- I believe you're only Ghost? Yeah, you don't have Levitate. It is still enough for the one shot though, perfect. Okay, that's a little 55 now, Man Mammo Swine. Ain't that something? Doesn't bother us a bit if we have to... Okay, I, I should just stop trying to read this, because obviously I'm not going to be able to. Listen well. The only thing we want is the, is the, is the, is the world Lord Getsis desires. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Getsis. Alright, here we go. Gets, by the way, um, I, I, again, as I said before, I, uh, I, I may have spoiled the, the Getsis fight, uh, because I was looking through where to get the Razor Claw, and it said, like, the Razor Claw can be found in the Giant Chasm. Technically, we are still in the Giant Chasm, so it told me, uh, in the trainer section, uh, that Getsis was one of them, and it said he had a party of six. So, that's gonna be interesting. All of which were level 50 plus, so that's gonna be real interesting. I have no idea what you are. Me first? He went, he went, he went first. That's interesting. Oh god, it used Earthquake. Okay, we're good. How much XP, how much damage? Oh, it's not very effective. That still did so much damage though. Giga Drain, that is not good. That's a lot of damage. I don't know what you are, so I don't I don't know what your type is, so I don't know what moves are best to use against you. But I got the I got the feint there. So I guess that's good. You still have one more. Yeah, okay, a Pontiard, one more Pontiard, and then that's that. So we're gonna get off the earthquake and that will be that. Pontiard, down for the count. Perfect. Okay, 873. There we go. Even if I lose, Lord Getzel simply has to win. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord Gets us here to use Kyurem to freeze you in a solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Gets us is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey, Bacon. If we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more. There'll there'll be more sad Pokemon like Perlon and Kyurem. Yes, exactly. That's why we are trying to end out this episode. It's been a long one. But well, we are, in fact, going to try to end out this episode by defeating Team Plasma. Here we go. We got to actually find the man first, though. Oh, wait, no. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm struggling. Hey, oh, frick. Okay, hang on. I got this. I got this. I went the wrong way completely. That way, down, left, down, right, up. There we go. Uh, what about... I'm assuming there's nothing in the dowsing machine. Yeah, there's nothing anywhere absolutely nothing it's literally just a battle with getsis wherever getsis is up here into the cave okay and you're still wild battles come on you can't, you can't be giving us vanilla vanilla -ish in the middle of a climactic moment like this what the frick are you doing what are we doing did I? I did not use. I have to use some elixirs or ethers on a uh, on earthquake real quick. So we're gonna leave the cave, or maybe not leave. Enter a new section of the cave. Okay, we're just gonna keep moving forward. Ah, frick! I didn't do it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Giant chasm. This is the spot where Kirim's power resonates. Here, Kirim can use the full extent of its power and easily cover all of Unova in ice. Kirim, come. Oh, man. I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eyes reminds me of it. That aside, this is my gift to you to, res to show my respect for making it this far. I'll freeze you solid right here so you can watch my glorious ascent. Hear him. Glaciate. Glaciate? Z 
Zekrom Fusion Bolt. Oh. Interesting. I think I know who that is. So you came. The freak without a human heart. N. I knew it was N. Ah, N. Zekrom told me Kiram is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer, and I like Unova. It's the place that taught me how to live as how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live here. Excellent. So that was a moving expression of your determination. So the education I provided to make you king wasn't a complete waste then. But I still haven't forgotten that even though I was kind kind enough to find you when you were living in the forest with Pokemon and take you in and care for you, and in the end, you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to live. I was supposed to use your abilities to rule Unova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Zekrom, which you were kind enough to bring with you, can shatter ice. Now you saved me the work of searching for it. Well, actually. I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles in Opelucid City, and you noticed a change. That's an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will if I use these, the DNA splicers. Cutscene. Why is it at the bottom? You guys can't freaking see it. Zekrom? Kiram, absorb Zekrom. Use Absofusion. I never would have believed that Pokemon could fuse together. That was that there was a formula like this. You fool. Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them, but this time I'm simply going to use overwhelming power and rule with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, Unova would have would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time this time no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this Kyurem. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your, could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? No, that's not possible. Simple tools do not have emotions or thoughts. Come, challenge Kiram. Just so you know, catching it is impossible. My cane emits a signals that disrupt the function of all Pokeballs. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I knew this was a thing that could happen. This has been this is this game came out in 2012, so like I knew this was a thing that would happen, that that they would fuse. But when it comes down to actually 
beating it. He says it can't. Terrible. The wild Kyrim is radiating a bursting aura. I don't know what that means. You are if I'm... I don't remember your type. Your ice something, which is not good because I'm Mammo Swine. <laughs> I don't know if you're flying. I'm gonna Earthquake in the hopes that you're not flying. Dragon Breath. That's weird. Oh, well, paralyzed me. Great. I got an Earthquake off, which good. It's not... It's not flying. Okay, good. A very good hit. Dragon Breath. And assuming... Okay. You know, I would have thought they would have made him, like... I mean, I didn't faint him yet, but... I'm gonna... I, and Mammoth Swan's gonna faint here. I would have thought they would have made him, like, level 70. Made him an actual challenge or something like that. But I guess not. I mean, maybe, maybe it was just because... I don't know. I mean, he's literally looking how much health he's at, and I, he said uh, he said there's no point. I'm not whatever. There's no point. X is her, and we have to win. Easy. <laughs> how much XP is that gonna be? That's the real question. Oh, not not really. Only three thousand seven hundred. Kiram and Zekrom are separated. I can't believe it. The Black Kyrim I went to all the trouble for preparing. How irritated. Now I, now I have to go through... Now, now I have to go recapture Kyrim. Don't die. But first, I'll take down this disgusting trainer with my own hands. This time, I will succeed. No matter how, what they try, no one will be able to stop me. There's a slight issue. I don't have Mammo Swine. Oh, God. Okay, gets this. Here we go. Cofagrigus. Okay, Cofagrigus. Level 50. As I smack my desk. Great. Oh! Oh yeah, healed. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Um, you should be a ghost type. I think you have Levitate though, so Ice Fang. Protect. Freaking great. Okay. Here we go. Ice Fang. Money. Oh, God. Okay, so I no longer have Oblivious, which I don't think it's really going to matter. Toxic is going to matter. That is not good. And you have Leftovers on you. Okay, so I can't use Strength. Strength is going to do nothing. Iron Head, I might as well I, I might as well try this stuff out. That doesn't get a very good hit in. Shadow Ball. That's a good hit. You have Leftovers. I'm Poisoned. Mammoth one's likely going to faint against the first Pokemon because Cofagrus has a lot and he protects. God! How much damage am I going to take right here? He heals. How much damage am I going to take? Lots. Okay, I'm, I'm one more turn. I got an, eight, an Ice Fang out. Not enough for the faints. And Mammoth Swine is now down for the Ah, frick! <laughs> Mammoth Swine is down for the counts. Okay, what we got? Let's see. Uh, Crobat, you're incredibly fast. And he's incredibly weak. Crobat should be able to just get an acrobatics in. And he full restored. I should be fine still. I should still be fine. It really comes down to how much damage acrobatics deals. It should deal a lot. Uh, my inner felt. Okay, so now Crobat is able to flinch. Ah, I forgot about that. Are you a dark type? No. Freaking This is going horribly. Jeez. Okay. Get an acrobatics in. Acrobatics. Just get rid of Cofagrigus, please. Oh my god. Down to five. Cofagrigus. Just faint. Acrobatics. Good. Oh. This is also a horrible, horrible start. What are you sending in next? Electros. Not good because that is an electric type. Cross poison. Come on. Get a good hit in. That's a horrible hit. You have acrobatics too? What is this? Money. Oh, your levitate now turned into money. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I don't know what type you are. I literally have no clue. Electric something? I don't think, weirdly enough, I don't think it's, um, 
water. I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm gonna send in Chandelure. I don't know what it is, so might as well just go Shadow... Minimize. Guarantee... Well, not guarantee, but... Greatly increase our chances of surviving with Chandelure. Just spam Minimize. Crunch. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, that's fine. Shadow Ball. Are you a dark type? No. It hit twice in a row. I had my evasion was up four times. Oh my god. What is he at? Is he at he still has four Pokemon left, right? Or five. He still has five Pokemon left. And I'm down to three. That should faint it though. It is. Good. Let's see. Let's see. What else we got? Seismitoad. Uh, you're going to have water absorb, aren't you? Earthquake as well. Freaking great. Oh my god. Drain punch. Uh... This is horrible. And Ampharos is bad. Ampharos is bad because it's a ground type. Arcanine is bad because it's a water type. Arcanine, because it's the only... I won't be able to hit it. I will get one shot if I send them out. Intimidate, I guess that decreases... Okay. Outrage. That's it, that's the best move I have against this thing, Outrage. Muddy water. I avoided the attack. Okay. That is, there's a the chance is incredibly small, but it's a chance. It's a 2v3. Drapion. Drapion. Whatever the frick you want to say. Outrage. That likely will not faint it. Didn't even get close. What do we got? Earthquake. Of course it's Earthquake of all things. Don't faint me. Okay, good. Please. Just get a Flare Blitz off. <laughs> uh, I believe I am now screwed. I believe I am now screwed. The I do have a Magnet. It's Stab. But I'm slow. And it went first. If this doesn't one-shot me, which it didn't, I might have a chance. It does faint the Drapion. And Ampharos not level 52. I might have to use a potion. I want to avoid using revive. It's a I w <sighs> Listen, I wanted to avoid using revives. But unfortunately, I have to. I just have to. I am not able to faint the high dragon. I, I, I can't. Because Ampharos is weak to high dragon. Arcanine, please, please, please go first, Arcanine. We got an Intimidate off, which is good. Go first. Rock slide. God dang it. Don't faint me, please. Don't you dare. Okay, that's good. I flinch. I, I went first that time. Okay, okay, okay. Outrage. Super effective. Enough for the faints. 1v1. I'm locked in outrage. I cannot do anything. Toxic croak. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be close. That's not gonna faint it, I don't believe. Poison jab. If this doesn't faint me. <laughs> that is the worst way that could have ended. If Poison Jab did not faint me, I would have won.
if Poison Jab didn't poison me. I know it has a high, I believe Poison Jab has a 30% chance to poison, so I know it's high. It's a high chance to poison. And, but if you think about that, there was a 70% chance that I win that duel. Duel battle. I'm playing too much Yu-Gi-Oh lately. There's a 70% chance I win that battle. Despite using the revive. I'm not ending the video yet. I am going to cut it because you guys pretty much saw the entire fight. But I'm going back. I'm ain't, I ain't ending this video till I, till I beat Getsis. I ain't ending the video. My headset's still on the ground from what just happened the last time, by the way. I'm starting off with freaking what's his face? Chandelure. Starting off with Chandelure. So we'll see. And I, I one-shot the Cofagragus. Oh my god. I'm starting to understand that the whole reason I lost the last battle is because I... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wants to learn Air Slash? Wait, hang on, what the frick? I mean, I'm not doing it because it's a special attack, but I level 52? Okay. Keep all moves. But I'm starting to realize that the main reason I, I didn't win the, the, last, uh, the last time is mostly just because I was unable to control the pace uh, of, the, of the battle. I start, off, I start off one Pokemon down and that just screwed me over from the get-go. Um, we'll see what happens here, though. He used acrobatics. If it doesn't fate me, then we got ourselves, assuming... Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves another Pokemon down. This is going a whole lot better than last time. I've only lost one or maybe two Pokemon. I believe it was one, but it may have been two. Ah, he used a Full Restore. Interesting. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. This is the second to last Pokemon. And I still have Mamoswine in, and last, his last, his both of his last two Pokemon are Poison types. So... I'm good. I just want to save it for as much as long as I can. So there's that. Drapion's down. I have Samurai, Ampharos, and Mamoswine all remaining. So Toxicroak. Here we go. You are a fighting poison type, so Surf will be good against you. But I did expect I did expect you to go first. That makes sense, Surf. You see, at that time it didn't poison me. If it didn't poison me the last time, I would have won. And assuming, assuming he doesn't like get a crick, crit, I should be good. Surf, and we got ourselves the win against Getsis. It took us a second try, because that first try really did not go well. I did not use Mamoswine that entire last, the entire end to that. I, I didn't use Mamoswine a single time, because I didn't need to. Oh my god, that was something, man. How can this be? I'm the creator of Team Plasma. I'm perfect. I'm the absolute ruler who will change the world, and I've lost to I've lost to some unknown trainer not once, but twice. Wait, lost Oh, I see, yes. I see what he's saying. I can't accept this. This is impossible. I can't be bested by fools who can't even use Pokemon correctly. It's hard to call you this, but father, please understand. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They are our wonderful partners. Some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Do not talk to it like a person, you freak. No real person can talk to Pokemon. Lord Getsis has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay, without father, Team Plasma is farewell. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Kiram is fine. Now it has lost its power, and it, but it'll come. It will come here again. Zekrom says thank you as well. That's right. I can talk with Pokemon. What you can talk with Pokemon? On that day two years ago, a certain trainer in Alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people, and it hurt so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue toward new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Zekrom, Zekrom taught me, the ideal for Pokemon and, and me. And someday, both ideals and truth will come together. Then Pokemon and humans will be free from the oppression of Pokeballs. You. What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League and put your ideals to the test. Team Plasma ship flew away. Is it over? I see, so it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Kieran from Team Plasma, right? You're really something. I'm gonna make sure Purloin gets back to my sister. Still can't take it out of the Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? 
He said, go to the Pokemon League. That's a good idea. I mean, now you're the strongest in Unova, right? Go prove it. Do you remember when we, fir uh, when we first met up in the Giant Chasm? If you follow the path from here, it goes out to Route 23. Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. All right, what is this? This is the King Gets Us Holy. What's he controlling and curing with it? Okay, so you can't pick that up. Uh, is there anything else around this area? Is this ah, well, not... Apparently, I can get on my bicycle. Okay, well... I'm not going to fight the the Pokemon League yet. I just... Sure. I'm not going to fight the Pokemon League yet. I just want to get to the Pokemon League. And then I'll end the episode there. So I don't know exactly where I need to go, but... Uh, if we look... Well, no, no I'm not going to get to the Pokemon League. I do just want to see Route 23. I have to get to Route 23. Now I'm, I'm just going to try to get to Route 23. Then I will be ending the episode. And that will be that. Also, whoops, no, not the dazzle machine. The bicycle. What is this? Can I not move from here? Okay. How do I get there? How do I... How do I get in there? I want to get in there to get the item. This way? Aha! A PP up. That was not worth the PP up. Um, okay. So, okay, we got away from that. Uh, if we go this way, oh, well, they're there. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Oh, you're safe. I'm so glad. As her team plasma ship, a man in a white lab coat appeared. He said that a trainer had given him the answer he'd been seeking, and as thanks, he went to span team plasma. Then he said farewell. Walk, uh, walk just a walk a just path with Pokemon, and, the, and he flew the ship away. So everything has been resolved. We are able to. We are even able to confirm that Lord N is safe. All right, perfect. That's all that. They flew away. So this way. I have no clue where I'm going. I might just end the episode here, to be entirely honest with you, and I'll figure out where I'm going later. I believe I have to go this way. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to end the episode here. I'll figure out where I have to go later. And this is a long episode. I just wanted to get the entirety of the Team Plasma storyline out of the way, and we're done with that. So that will do it for this video. We have probably one. We might be able to get the last one done. I might do the last one uh, in, a, in a live stream. I don't know if that's going to work. I want to see if I can challenge Elite Four on a live stream, but that may or may not actually work out that well uh, because I have to actually set everything up. Uh, it might it might be a process. I want to see if I can, but there's a decent chance I won't be able to. But that all being said, that will do it for this video. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. Hope to see all you guys in the next video. Goodbye.